All right, fellas, in this video, we got two things going on. I'm gonna try and zero in on the actual output rating of this burner. Okay, so based on gibberish, we have about 194,000 BTUs to work with here. Coming out to about $8.33 an hour to run this bad boy, producing that 270 degree steam we see. So By weighing the tank before and after, and we're going to be trying to nozzle on this 40 foot coil to see what happens this might get a little interesting this thing may take flight Very windy out, but the burner isn't having much trouble. Turn it up. So we're about 30 degrees hotter, yet we do not have flames blasting out the top of the unit even. Okay, so let's take note of the flames and what we got going on here, the amount of steam. That's 279 degrees steam there. The top is not red hot, the boiler that is. Very little waste heat. Now let's check out the wasteful jet burner. It's wasteful in this application anyway. It doesn't mean it's a useless torch by any means. I'm not trying to knock those guys. I mean, it's an awesome burner. 250 degrees is what we topped out at on that particular burner with these settings. Bear in mind, I have not done a very strong data set that takes into consideration the variables of settings and all that with water flow in this. But uh, for the most part, just look at the amount of waste heat we're getting. And the size of the boiler would have to be far bigger than what we can do with this burner right here. Look at that. This is the Vortex IR burner. And the reason why I'm calling it the IR burner, or the Vortex IR burner, is because there is a tremendous amount of infrared radiation kicking off of that combustion plate. Look at that. This is with the burner shut down. The radiation coming off of that thing goes directly to the job site. There's no licking over the pot, flying off the sides. That is some serious, intense heating right there. Very powerful. If you look at this here, it just doesn't even look like there's a fire in there, guys. We're getting a lot of that energy is coming from the infrared heat. And this is a poorly designed boiler. This is just a test coil to ascertain what 40 foot of tubing will do. 
and this is what we get with 40 foot. We are running a 2.6 millimeter nozzle today, and uh, we achieved 279 degree steam. So, pretty extraordinary. And uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna shut up. I'll tell you what Carlos I think this type of burner is going to be what we want to go with it's putting out hotter steam the flame profile is lower I can make the boiler half of this size with this here burner this isn't the one we're going to use this is just the experimental plate to see what did and didn't work we're going to examine the video and see how many of these outer holes we want to plug man the heat coming off of that thing i gotta get away from it it's literally that hot it's gonna work out so much better than this thing this thing just requires i mean the flame coming off this bad boy is like this big with any significant power um, and the wind we're experiencing right now today this thing would not have fared well at all the only reason why I put this shroud on was because I didn't want cool air cooling off the boiler in my test. It didn't come anywhere near close to putting that burner out. That thing will burn in a hurricane. I can tell you that right now. 80% of the combustion is inside the combustion chamber. So in the event there was a flame out up top, it's going to light right back up because you're not going to put the flame out on the inside of that thing. So, pretty freaking gnarly, dude. We definitely got a leak in the boiler coil. That is not how much water we were actually boiling, but 